So today I'm just going to be doing a little prom makeup look, or you could use it for any formal occasion. And so this is just my sister's like little BB cream sample that she uses, and then she set it with some Bare Minerals powder, and then we primed her eyes to make sure the eyeshadow would last all night for prom, but this was just practice, just so you guys know. And the powder will also set the BB cream and make her face be a little bit less oily throughout the dance. And so I'm just priming her eyes and then I'm going to be using the Naked 2 palette. And I used quite a few different eyeshadows. I used Half Baked, Half Baked and Chopper for a lot of the lid. And then in the crease, I used some of these couple ones on the end. And I would be very careful with the blackout because it does turn out very dark. Um, darker than you would expect, I think. And then for, um, I did a little bit above the crease with T's, but it's kind of above the lid, I guess. And a little bit of Foxy and a little bit of Booty Call for um, defining her brow bone. So I'm just using the brush that came with the Naked 2, and the Naked 2 palette is great for formal events or where you want to have like a darker eyeshadow day or um, a smoky eye look or something like that just because the colors are very like, they have a lot of shimmers and darker colors, but they also have some really nice like golden shimmers and just really awesome beautiful colors. So I'm using um, a, for the crease I'm using a Real Techniques little crease brush and the black was a little bit dark but this was just practice so that's okay. And I would also suggest using tape right under the eye area because she got a lot of fallout. Um, we've This always happens to her when we put eyeshadow but um, definitely use like a little bit of scotch tape underneath there just so the fallout will not stay on there because sometimes even with makeup remover it will still stay on there and then um, I use a little bit of a champagne color in her, her inner corner and then I use some liquid eyeliner and this is just a swatch of it and then I also did a little smudge test which really was pretty great I mean this was a new eyeliner, I just got it, and I was very impressed with it. And it's actually one of my first times with liquid eyeliner, especially with a nice liquid eyeliner. And it turned out pretty nice. Um, I would say that if it's a little jaggedy, that is okay because we're not going to be able to see the line that much. And she kept laughing. <laughs> I don't know why, but um, so and I winged it out just a little bit. and. If it's a little jaggedy, you can even make the line thicker and you won't notice as much. Um, and I just really like this liquid eyeliner, it's just very easy to use. And I liked how the brush was set up and everything like that. So I only show one eye being done, but of course I do it to both eyes to make sure she likes it. So I winged it out a little bit. And then after that, she's putting some black eyeliner on her bottom waterline. And she she did say after she did it that she put a little bit too much on, so it was a little bit too dark for her. But she didn't, the label came off the black eyeliner, so she wasn't exactly sure, but any black eyeliner you do. And then Bare Minerals Mascara, which is a really great mascara. I would definitely recommend it. So she put that on her top and bottom lashes. And you can even use false lashes if you want, but she didn't really want to use false lashes. And then she actually applied a Clinique mascara over top of that, but I forgot to get a um, close-up of that. And then I used my Coastal Scents Warm Palette, and I accidentally pointed to um, the wrong color. Not that light one, but any brown that matches your brows will do if you want to fill in your brows. So we filled in her eyebrows just because it will really define them and just really like match your hair color a little bit more and then I spooled them out so basically just brushing your eyebrows out and this brush is by Bundy Monster from Amazon and um, just basically like spreading out the color making sure it's even and everything like that 
and then I'm using a Coastal Scents Angled uh, blush, blush brush, um, and I am actually going to contour with some bronzer and later on some blush, and I'm using this Clinique like little bronzer and sunkissed. And so I'm using this L'Oreal um, little blush, and it's just like this nice pink color. And so I'm just going to be contouring the bronzer and the blush together on her cheeks. Um, so yes, and it is okay, especially for formals and things like that, to have darker makeup just because on pictures, um, if you have light makeup, it won't sh show up as much. So dark makeup is kind of the way to go sometimes, and I think she, her makeup look looked really nice. So I just did this on both sides of her cheeks. And then after that, I even took a little highlighter and I highlighted on top of her face just to give her a little bit more shine and shimmer. <laughs> and the top of this was mirrored so I could wave to you guys. And this is just this flower thing from Clinique and I used that lightest color in that little palette. And it's a little bit shimmery so you don't want to use too much. But um, just kind of use it in the areas that you need. And I accidentally forgot to not um, set her eyebrows. So I'll use this clear mascara just to make her eyebrows stay in place and for the color to last longer. So you just want to apply a little bit of that to each brow to make them stay. She applied a little bit of this Clinique chubby stick, which she loves these. And I, and I like them too. And she applied that, which is not positive. She's just going to use that same lip color. And this is the final look. I think she looks absolutely gorgeous. Um, thank you for letting me feature you in my video. I hope you enjoyed prom, and I hope this isn't too late for you guys. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.